Why is everyone going so like, slow? It's 100 kilometers an hour, people are going 80. Drives me nuts. Freaking soccer mom in a freaking Dodge Caravan up here just putting away on the expressway at 80. Go! Oh, I hate that. Hey! Freaking soccer mom here. Am I right? Not a soccer mom. Old guy. Older than dirt. But that'll be me someday. I want to drive a big Cadillac and drive in the rain freaking 80 and 100. You piss people off. Or going on the interstate in the United States with a big ass RV just cutting along at 50. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I have the Thursday video. Well, I stayed home. I didn't go to work. I did, however, go to that company that I mentioned before that I called, I think it was on uh, Thursday, Friday. And he said, yeah, we're really interested. Come by, blah, blah, blah. We'll start a file for you. Well, I did. And he was really, really busy at the time. So busy, in fact, saying, listen, I got a truck and the dog loaded up for Ottawa. If you want to go, I could use you. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, it's not really my day off. There's just no work right now, but that means I'm on standby. I'm on call. So I fancy, like, I'm on call right now. I would love to go if it wasn't for that. Plus, I'm not wearing hard steel toes right now. I'm wearing my sandals. Like, oh, I don't give a shit there. Okay. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, you know what? My luck. My boss never called yesterday. Well, I think with my luck, I'd be halfway to freaking Ottawa. I'd be around freaking Hawkesbury. Come in, pick up. Now. Uh, I'm halfway to Ottawa right now. In a truck. <laughs> Doing a delivery. <laughs> yeah, that'd go over like a lead brick. So I didn't go. Even though I wanted to. So I said, call me. I don't have time to look over your stuff right now, but if I don't call you by Monday, give me a call. Come see me. As the holiday thing goes, um, ask me how much experience in the city I have, how familiar I am. So I start naming off like, well, I've been with this company for uh, three years doing intermodal and local, uh, straight body, tractor trailer, highway, uh, three years of transacts working local, Cheroot working local. Central Transport, the same one that's out of Detroit, Michigan. I was uh, out of the Mon Montreal from here, working for them as an owner-operator doing a lease purchase with a 95 Ford L9000. I was actually making pretty good money at the time. And then the owner company said, right, no more 401 corridor, U.S. bound freight only, which 401 corridor was 95% of what we did. So I went from making $2,500 a week to $200. Bye. Here's the keys back to your truck. Later. So, uh, pretty good positive experience last, uh, yesterday. Looking good. Um, I think you're probably going to hire me. It's not just Montreal, Toronto. It's Montreal, Toronto, and local. PD local here in Toronto, uh, here in Montreal. We with both truck and trailer and straight truck. Uh, here's something that's different from where I work now. It's covered by CSSD or WCB. So, I would be covered by order of compensation, so if I get hurt, I'm covered. Full benefits! Which right now here, I have nothing. So, obviously, benefits are better than nothing. So, that's looking 
good at keeping guys updated on that. And there's whole new videos about that going to Montreal, Toronto. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to making a whole, well the videos are, I'm still going to still be making the videos, but they, I'm going to change them up a little bit because it won't be just local. What I'm doing today, I have two deliveries in a Don Fan container. Both of them are in Laval. And then I'm going to return the can to Ultra. Then I'm going to bring the switch chassis to an empty one, to uh, our 295 chassis. But the air rate doesn't go down. That's the same one that got stolen last month. So what they're going to do is they're going to put a manual dump valve on it just like they did the 296. Because the 296, same problem. Which I'm not surprised because they're the same make, same all, exactly the same. They're just the Pradley sisters. There's 450296, 450295. I've actually saw a 297 too. But we don't have it. So um, that's about a two hour job. So uh, that's the thing about it. All I'm going to do today, so uh, stand by. Laval. I used to come into Laval all the time with Central, as I mentioned I was with Central before. I was uh, what the dispatcher, his name was Theo, probably was Greek, his name was Theopolis. Theopolis, pen and nenum and num and something. I always called him Theo. He referred to me as his North Shore bitch. Because I was the only one up here. Everyone else had 42 foot roll up doors and I had a 53 foot trailer and I was always like, how do I get the 53 foot trailer? Why can't I have a 42? And I saw why after about the first week. Because I would leave the terminal with it just loaded, loaded chock-a-bock and I'd come back with it loaded. So if I had a 42, there's no way I'd fit everything. I'd leave uh, Lachine at about 7.30, 8 o'clock. I have all my deliveries, I, most of my deliveries done by about noon, which I kind of had to. I had four hours. Yeah, four hours. Four hours to do all my deliveries to get empty. Then I take my lunch and by one o'clock I start my pickups. I should be in position for my first pickup. So I start my pickups, I have my pickups done at about four, five o'clock. I'd be back at the terminal by 5.30 because it was great. Because I was always against the traffic. Because in the morning, all the traffic is coming to Montreal from Laval. And I was going to Laval. So I had no traffic. Oh, I was right here. So I had no traffic. At the end of the day, everyone's coming back to Laval. So it's bumper to bumper northbound. And the southbound is clear shot. So it was great because I was always going against the traffic, but it wasn't just Laval. I'd be like, Laval, Mirabel, Beaubrien, Terrebonne, Saint Jerome, all those places. And I wasn't paid by the hour. If you know anything about working for Central Transport when they were still all owner operators, we were paid by weight. So I wanted lots and lots of heavy pickups. And one place in Saint Jerome I really liked going to because it was like manhole covers and stuff like that. So yeah, load those up. Manhole covers and rain grates and stuff like that for street construction. So I love picking that up because it was heavy, heavy. I was good freight. Well, we're at our customers now. We're going right where that BFI dumpster is. So I'm just going to Swing a little wide here. Oh, wait, you got the door open for me. It's Crement. Swing myself into position here. The same place I got stuck. Because I was. Couldn't back up because it was downhill slope and, and icy. Am I straight? Straight enough, but I'm gonna open up the doors and uh, stand by. All right, we got that delivery done, and we're going literally one street over for the next one. It's almost not worth closing the doors for, but I'm gonna have to. 
my luck, there'll be a SAC or a Laval police sitting around here waiting, looking for a customer. Oh, let's close the light doors. So, see you in a bit. And we are at Ultra Container Depot. And we have just got off our empty container. We're heading back to the warehouse. There's no pickup at CN. So I'm pretty much well done with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook on to the 295 chassis and bring that to St. Henry Trailer so they can put a manual air dump on it for the uh, air ride because the automatic air ride is not so automatic. It's stuck on in flame. So um, it's too high for our dock. So also on the way over here I had an idea for another feature for my vlog. I'm going to call it Lingo and Terminology. So the first thing is you're hauling a flatbed. I know I'm giving flatbedders on unfair advantage for the first one. Sorry, but it's what I can think of right off the bat. Plus, I like the term on honestly. I think it's cool. Um, you're hauling a flatbed. You're going to a particular type of shipper that you normally load inside with an overhead crane. Sometimes you load with a forklift, but it's got to be a really big one. Um, the guy loading it will ask you how you want it. Homicide, sometimes referred to a shotgun. So homicide shotgun or suicide. Now, what kind of freight am I hauling? And why is he asking me how I want to load it? Well, not really why I want it, but uh, the two different terminologies. What do they mean? To load it something homicide, shotgun, or suicide. So if you think you know, put your answer in the comment box below and um, have some fun with it. Anyway, we're uh, about to uh, check out of Ultra and head to St. Henry Trailer, so stand by. Look, there's a Celadon! Right over there at Lift Toe. Not Jerry. I checked. Not Jerry. Big rig talk. I've never seen him here. Maybe someday he'll come by. But in the meantime, we're heading to St. Henry Trailer with the uh, Get their right fixed. So I think now it's a good time for some fast forward trucking.
Okay, well we've dropped our chassis here at St. Henry Trailer. And um, they said that they would fix it today when I called them this morning, but that was this morning. Now they're saying, nope, impossible. Impossible. And they don't work over the weekend, so... I'm thinking, well, we're probably going to need it. Come on. You're killing me here. I say, well, you're going to have to leave it. Can you do that? I say, well, I don't have that authority to make that call, so let me call. Nothing over the weekend. Drop it. But we're going to need it tomorrow morning because we're going to get hit hard on Monday. So I'm probably going to come in Monday morning early, do the two pickups, and then go and get this chassis for my third final pickup so um, that's pretty much it for the day and the weekend so um, thanks for watching uh, hit that like button hit that subscribe and hit that share button because as always it always helps thanks for watching and see you again later